Hey, this is Kelly with Fun Robotics Network. Uh, I'm here at Glacier Peak District Event, and this is Team 4469 Raid. Uh, we're going to be talking a lot about their ground intake straight into their funnel, the kinds of iterations that they did on it, and then how their manipulator works with being able to score both algae and coral at the same time, uh, and then some of the code behind it. Uh, all that and more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Oshcut is the premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, 3D tube laser cutting, and with nearly 500 variations of metal in stock and ready to cut. Just upload a file and claim your 50% off discount when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash OSHCUT. All right, take it away. We are team 4469, and the first thing on our robot is the ground intake that's able to pick up coral from the ground and is able to place on level one. So how it works is that they have these side belts here with bearings and they make sure they make it so that the wheels can spin in opposite directions to pull in coral and release coral. And we have these wheels inwards inside here so that it spins and it spins inwards and then it aligns the coral in place before dropping to the shoe. So, and the job of the shoe is so that it aligns the coral when it falls in, in any direction. So if it falls like sideways, it aligns perfectly. And to look at our prototypes. So this was our original model. This was made so that we could attach a drill to the end and spin this to represent how it works. Sorry. Um, and we originally thought that we were going to have to attach motors to these wheels at the bottom to align them. Turns out with these running, it automatically aligns. So these just had to be here to align it. Worked really well. Worked better than intended. So cool. that's two motors we didn't have to add. <laughs> awesome. And then, yes, back to, back to the shoot. It makes it so that in any way the coral drops into here, it aligns perfectly straight up. And the next part of that is our coral arm that can go through this door and it picks up the coral and holds it through here. Can I? It holds through here. And the thing about this arm is that it has two hexes, one to spin the bearings so that it can bring in, it turn the wheels in opposite directions to bring in the coral. And it does the same thing. The, the belt style is the same as the intake so that it spins in opposite directions. So, oh, and the elevator. The elevator makes it so that our robot is able to place on all four levels of the reef. Of the, reef. the ground intake, as she was explaining before, in a second, <laughs> can take in the coil in any way and it automatically gets aligned inside the chute. And the chute that automatically aligns it gave the coral manipulator a chance to grab it automatically. There's sensors in the bottom so that they can work together and it's all a very fast process. We don't have to automate any of it or... It, it's all it's all automated. It. It's not manual. Yeah. Cool. It's all automatic. And then, so... These being side by side gives the elevator a chance to lift both the coral and the algae manipulator up, giving us the chance to both place the coral on the reef and grab the algae off of the reef at the same time for more efficiency. All right. Awesome. All right, let's move on to the software behind uh, your, your alignment. If you look over here on our screen, using our limelight enable tags, we can 
change where we are. We trust this valley a lot because we know that our limelight can be very accurate when we're so close to the field. And then once we have our angle, all our driver has to do is push the button and it will automatically align. All right, so if you have a coral in it. Yes, if we don't have a coral, it won't do anything. And then all we have to do, and it'll drive to where it needs to go. Awesome. Once it sees that April tag? Once it, like, or we have, we'll update our position. And so then it'll automatically know where it is. So we don't need to be seeing an April tag 100% of the time. Okay, awesome. So does it take over from the driver in any way? Or does the driver control it up, up until it sees that April tag or? So the driver still has control even if it has an April tag. It's just when you push the button, it'll automatically go to its position. Well, thank you all for talking to me about your robot. Uh, I wish you a good luck with the competition, with the season. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Oshkut is the premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, 3D tube laser cutting, and with nearly 500 variations of metal in stock and ready to cut. Just upload a file and claim your 50% off discount when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash O-S-H-C-U-T. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu first.